Hello and welcome. This video will discuss the process of using Interlibrary Loan, or ILL, to access full text articles. If at any time you need more help, make an appointment with the librarian who covers your subject, or call, email, or chat with the library. You can also visit us in person at the reference desk. One commonly asked question we receive is, I found an article that I want to read, but I cannot access full text without paying. What do I do? You should never pay for an article. WKU Libraries can get it to you for free using Interlibrary Loan, or ILL. Through ILL, WKU Libraries can borrow material from other libraries and vice versa. To access ILL services, visit the link shown on the screen or simply perform a Google search for WKU ILL and select the first link. Once on the page, click Login, which is shown here with a circle and arrow. Once you log in, you will be taken to a screen that looks like this. Although your screen may not have any existing requests listed, to start a new request, select Create Request in the top right corner of the screen. This will bring you to the request page, which looks like this. For article requests, make sure the Article slash Book Chapter tab is highlighted, which is the default option. The tab is shown here with a circle and arrow. The more information you provide, the faster you will get the resource you need. To request an article or book chapter, you will need the following information. First, the journal or book title. This is the name of the journal, not the specific article you want. You will need that as well, but you will enter it in a different location. You also need the year the article was published, where you learned about the item, which is often a link to the article in a database, the volume number of the article, and most journals publish articles in sets called volumes, an issue number, which is often the number beside a volume number, and it denotes a specific issue within a volume, You'll also need the page numbers of an article within the journal, for example, one through 10. You'll need the title of the article, which is the name of the specific article you want. You'll also need the author or authors of an article. If there are multiple authors, you should list them all. You could also include an ISSN number, which is an international standard serial number. It is an eight digit number used to uniquely identify a serial publication or journal. An OCLC number is a unique control number used for every record in WorldCat, which is a massive online catalog used by all libraries. If you are unsure of or cannot find some of this information, leave that field blank. To gather the information you need, it can be helpful to view an article's citation, which a database can provide for you. I'm going to briefly click through and show you how the things in this citation relate to the things you need for your ILL request. First, you'll see the authors listed often followed by the year of publication. The first title here is going to be your article title, followed by a journal title, which is often in italics. The journal title is always followed by a volume number, as well as an issue number, which is shown right next to the volume. If you see a range of numbers, those are going to be your page numbers. And lastly, citations often provide a link, which you can use in the where you found out about this item field. If you found the article in a database, you may also be able to take advantage of the system auto-filling the ILL form for you. To do this, select the red Search WKU button under an article's listing, shown here with a circle and arrow. The Search WKU button will bring you to a page that looks like this, which is the article's entry in our library catalog. To request it via ILL, select the Request from Interlibrary Loan link at the bottom of the screen, shown here with an arrow. Once you click that link, you will be taken to a new request page with the information automatically filled in. Double check to make sure the information looks correct before submitting. The request form also includes an About My Request section. For service type, you are given two options, copy or loan. For articles, you should select copy, which is the default option, this means that you will be provided a digital copy of the article rather than a physical loan of the material. Digital copies come to you much faster than loan physical items. You can use the needed before field if there is a date after which you would no longer need the article. For example, if you needed the article for a specific paper due on December 1st, 2021, you could put 12-1-21 in the box since you would no longer need the article after turning in your paper. Include comments in the comments field if you would like to provide any more information about the request. And note that if you request an article in a foreign language, it will not be in English when you receive it. Lastly, make sure your contact information is correct and then select Submit Request. 
Note that the library will only send articles to WKU email addresses for security and copyright reasons. Also, you are allowed five requests per day and no more than 25 requests in one week. Most people receive their article requests in a few days. If you need help with an ILL request or have a question, contact our interlibrary loan specialist, Kathy Fauci, via the email address or phone number shown on this screen.